Hello. In this video, we're going to consider the shape of a distribution. Here we have three distributions, and they each show a different shape. Let's look at this first one. This distribution is considered to be negatively skewed. This distribution is stretched out in the negative direction. This is the center of this scale, and we notice that there is less data to the left of that center mark. That's another characteristic of a negative distribution. This distribution is symmetrical. It's stretched out equally in both the positive and the negative direction. If I look at this center mark, there's the same amount of data on either side. So that's the characteristics of a symmetrical distribution. Let's take a look at this last one. This distribution is positively skewed. The distribution is stretched out in that positive direction. And if I take this as the center of this scale, there's less data to the right of that center mark. So on the previous slide, we considered these histograms, but let's have a look at box plots and the characteristics that we see in box plots. So here we see the negative distribution and we see that spread out in the negative direction. Now this will mean that the median, remember this is the median line, is closer to the upper quartile, also named Q3. In our symmetrical distribution, the median is exactly halfway between the lower and the upper quartiles. In this distribution, the positive skew, we see that spread out in the positive direction and the median is closer to the lower quartile, Q1. We can also see skew by considering the relationship between the averages, the mean, the median and the mode. I always like to state these in alphabetical order, mean, median and mode. And I notice that if the mean is less than or smaller than the median, then I have a negative skew. And I notice that it's as if the inequality sign is pointing to the negative direction. That helps me remember what this means. Here, I have the mean, the median and the mode, again, in alphabetical order. And I notice if the mean is greater than, larger than the median, I have a positive skew. And again, we see as if that inequality sign is pointing to the positive direction to help me remember. For a symmetrical distribution, the mean will equal the median. There's also a calculation that can give a measure of the skew of data. Here it is, skew is equal to three times mean minus the median divided by standard deviation. A positive value means the data has a positive skew, and the larger the value, the stronger the positive skew. A negative value means that the data has a negative skew, and the smaller the value, or more negative that value, the stronger the negative skew. When the value calculated is zero, the distribution is symmetrical. There's no skew. Let's see how we can use that calculation. The table gives the mean, the standard deviation and the median for the times spent on social media during one day for a sample of 60 year olds. It shows us that the mean is 125 minutes, the standard deviation 25 minutes and the median 130 minutes. We're asked to calculate the skew for this data. So remembering, here's the formula Skew is three times the mean, 125, minus the median, 130, divided by the standard deviation, 25. And this gives a value of minus 0 0.6. I'm asked to interpret this value for skew. I'm going to remind myself about negative skew because negative 0 0.6 shows that I have negative skew. So here's a view of what the box plot would look like. And here's the idea that the mean would be less than the median, would be less than the mode. And I've put in this blue mark here 
to show that mean, that mean would be less than the median. This is my median, this is my mean. This is just to give me a picture of what's going on. So let's look at my interpretation. The value negative 0.6 shows a negative skew. This means that the data is more spread out for values below the median. I'm just commenting on that spread out, more spread out for values below the median. I've continued to say more than half of 60 year olds spend longer than the mean time on social media. The sample is above the median, then more than half of this group of 60 year olds must spend longer than the mean time on social media. That's the end of this video. I hope you found it useful.